um, women that are unsatisfied in in their own relationships. They've um, they feel like they've lost the connection, or they've never really had a connection with their bodies, with their sexuality, where they're just as a woman, and they just they just feel unfulfilled and unsatisfied, and and, and that is um, for them unmotivating and, and for some even depressing. So um, so they do come for me uh, to. to, to Maria, tell me what kind of people they come to you. What the problem? What is the issue? What is the biggest thing right now? Hi, Stanislava. Thank you very much for inviting me here to talk to you about this um, this beautiful topic. Actually, um, nowadays um, nowadays society um, is facing a really big issues uh, in relation to the connection to themselves. So the biggest problem that people come come um, to me at the moment, uh, people that feel lost, they feel like they've lost their direction in life and, and they really don't know how to make choices and decisions about what they want to do in life, how they want to be, who they really are. And, and this type of people usually come to me and, and I feel drawn to, to, to what I can offer um, because they just feel completely lost um, and they're looking for answers um, to look within and, and this is the key that I offer. Um, another very common problem is, is um, women that are unsatisfied in, in their own relationships. They've, um, they feel like they've lost the connection or they've never really had a connection with their bodies, with their sexuality, where they're just as a woman. And they just, they just feel unfulfilled and unsatisfied. And, and, and that is um, for them unmotivating and, and for some even depressing. So, um, so they do come for me uh, to, to, to address that. Um, another very common very common um, a problem uh, that people come to me for is um, women that have gone through um, really painful breakups and um, they've been together with their partners for a long time, for example, and uh, they eat or either meet partners that are abusive and, and not uh, emotionally uh, supportive and they just end up being really hurt. And even though they've given all their love and, and everything from themselves, they end up really miserable in that relationship and, 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 and through going through a breakup that's really painful and don't know how to deal with that, all of that pain and have so many questions that they want to answer, but, but they can't because they don't have the tools. So these are the main, the three main topics that the people usually come to me for. And, um, and I feel I have a powerful key for that. Hello everyone, this is Coaching Creo. I am Stanislava and today my guest is Maria. Today we're going to talk about how our intuition can, can help me to transform my life. How do you help other people address their problems? Stasi, um, what I do is, is that I offer three types of services. Um, one of them is, um, is um, group trainings. And the group trainings are uh, a, a powerful space that I hold for people and deliver content and information about about higher levels of consciousness, about uh, what it is uh, what it is that we have beyond our rational mind and who we really are as a as a human being, um, no matter whether you're a man or a woman. And also, I teach um, techniques and practices um, about how to understand what's going on in the unconscious mind or our limiting beliefs, or our thoughts and feelings that are stopping us from progressing forward, what's happened in our childhood, what experiences did we have that, 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 that made us make up so many beliefs and, 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 and develop strategies to, to, to cope with life rather than, rather than, rather than thrive. So, so, so in those trainings, what I really do is connect people to their intuition and their high levels of consciousness so that they can get guidance and wisdom from, from within, from, from their own um, inner, um, from their own inner guidance system, and because what I because what I do believe in is that our intuition is our gateway to our superconsciousness, is the gateway to our higher self, and, and it's a really powerful um, it's a really powerful tool for self awareness and communication with with our higher levels of consciousness. So I do, and this is what we do in the group trainings. I teach people about about uh, about these um, different aspects of themselves and how to differentiate between their intuition, between their thoughts and feelings, how everything flows together and how they can use that to create beautiful things in life. The other um, support that I offer is um, individual coaching sessions. So individual coaching sessions are particularly 
tailored for, for people that really want to go deep. Uh, people that uh, really want to go deep and are ready to face themselves in, in, in different aspects in their life and in different areas, let alone relationship, uh, business, um, sexuality or, or friendship, any sort of any sort of problem that we can go really deep and address those um, those issues and see what, what what is going on in their unconscious mind so that they can rise above it. Because once you understand why you act in a certain way, why, why we behave or why you're hurting and reacting in a certain way, then you have the power to to actually gain your power back and not allow your emotions and feelings and thoughts and beliefs to control you, but actually have the power back to, to make a decision that is going to lead you to making better choices in life. And um, this is probably the, the best place here to say that I can't work with more than 10 people um, for, for long periods of time because it requires a lot of energy and a lot of investment from my side. So I never really work with more than 10 people, say if the program is six months or a year, it's never more than 10 people at, at one time. Um, so um, the other program is something that actually I'm currently working on um, and it's something that I'm really passionate about. It is a circle for women. It is a group um, energetic um, workshop for women where I use energetic practices and shamanic practices that I have learned along my journey that actually has um, the they're so potent, they have the power to transform the way the, the woman is in relationship to herself, to her body, to who she really is, and to really un, um, unveil all these, all these restrictions that we, that we place on ourselves as, as women, uh, especially in, in the society that we have history of, of, of suppressing women. So, so I believe that these energetic practices are really powerful and uh, powerful tools to, to, to go really deep um, in the essence of a woman. Um, they have helped me along my journey and, and I'm really happy to create such powerful, uh, supportive workshop that can actually address that, that, you know, work for a woman. So these are the three types of services that I offer. Uh, and I do believe that, that, that there are very powerful techniques and, um, to, to address all those issues that we mentioned earlier. Yeah. Um, how you say in the beginning, uh, you say the shamanic practice, but I want to ask you about the full moon, do we have any specific uh, practice like shamanic practice for the full moon? Uh, do you have any secrets of this? <laughs> so, um, yeah, the full moon is an interesting topic, actually. The full moon is actually is, is the time when, when I actually would love to, to do my monthly workshops um, because I believe that, the, that we are all connected with all planetary bodies, our nature around us, etc. And what happens during full moon is that it, it, right, it, it, it impacts the human um, the planet Earth and the human body in a very powerful way. So it rises, even in the unconscious mind, not just the tides, you know, the tides rise. And in the unconscious mind, in the human psyche, what happens is it, it, it surfaces all these emotions and things that need to be addressed. So it is very obvious and very clear why sometimes we're overreacting to things, is because, overreacting in life in different situations, is because what actually is happening is, is these are all these issues that they're asking to be addressed so it's a very powerful time to really look look within and address all what's coming up for us so the full moon is a very powerful time um so practices well um i, I could i could share a lot of practices with you and then a lot of them will happen in in my yeah. own uh, in my own workshop but um but uh, one practice i could share with you right now is um I'm a big believer in, in guided meditations where you, you sit down with yourself, listen to a guided meditation of, of whoever resonates with you, and then just taking that a step further and, and continue to listen to, to background music and just really ask yourself, once you open up that space after the guided meditation, you know, we're quiet, and once you open up that space, just ask a question. Ask an open question. For example, what in me do I need to address? What in me is calling to be addressed? Mm -hmm. And by opening up that space uh, with a guided meditation and asking that question, you can really give a really open and honest answer. And when I say give, it's coming from within you, from your intuition, from your higher self. And when you do that, you, you have a very clear understanding of what needs to be addressed. And you can follow, have follow-up questions like, how do I address it? Or where is it coming from? But the first question you, 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 I, would, I would advise to ask is an open question. What in me is calling to be addressed? Yeah. What is stopping me at the moment in life? 
And, and by asking that question you, and getting the answer, you can then see how you can adjust and how you can transform that and change that. It's a very powerful technique by using guided meditations to really, uh, to really open up the space and invite our intuition and our creative spirit to talk to us and fill up the space with their wisdom. Perfect. Thank you so much. Now, Maria, it's time to make notes for your free webinar. Um, if you have interesting ladies to know more about this webinar, please put the comment below uh, with hashtag woman and then Maria, she will give you more information, link, just to jump there and to see how it's working. I'm sure it will be a really fantastic webinar. So Maria, can you give me a little bit of information? Yeah, thank you very much, Stasi. It's a beautiful announcement. So um, I do, I did create this uh, free workshop that I will be running every month so that people can have a taste of, of the work. Because a lot of people out there talk about intuition and high levels of consciousness, but people very rarely have a, a very practical uh, experience with it and practical use with it, which they can really take at home and really use on an everyday basis or when they need to make decisions. So for me, what I really do is, is have a little sample for people for about an hour and a half in the free seminar where I give them a little bit of background um, about intuition, thoughts and feelings and what's the difference between them and how we can, and how we can differentiate between the two of them. And also take, give them the technique and give them a, to practice during that workshop to, to actually meet their intuition for the first time or deepen their connection if, if they haven't if they already have um, connection, um, established connection with it. Um, so it is a really, it is a really uh, powerful technique, uh, simple but really powerful. Um, and um, everyone, um, I'm, I'm sure everyone can, uh, can benefit from it. So I do give a little sample, a little taste uh, that I offer to people as a free seminar every month so that they can taste it and see whether that resonates with them. Uh, so um, the next free seminar uh, will be on Monday. Uh, 13th of April at 6 p.m. UK time, and it will be fully in English. I do the same uh, for Bulgarian uh, in Bulgarian language um, for the people that are more comfortable with Bulgarian language because I am from Bulgaria. But that happens on a different date. So if somebody's interested, uh, they can they can ask me about my Bulgarian um, Bulgarian version of that seminar, and I'll give them more details. I'm appreciate about that, Maria. How did start your um personal development journey to to bring all of this stuff with yourself that's a really good question stassi um so my personal development journey started um probably about eight years ago um when i moved into england and even though i've always been really philosophical in nature what really triggered that that calling to, to really go deep was about eight years ago and as people say it for me it it was a difficult moment that triggered that. So when I came here to England, I came here to study um, business and economics at university. But even though I, I had everything, education, great parents, I have, you know, I'm just living my life on the surface. But something in me wasn't really okay. I wasn't feeling good with myself. And I felt quite empty and quite dissatisfied and very unfulfilled because I couldn't really relate um, what I really value in life with, 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 my, with the society and with the, and with the university and everything that I was doing at this at this moment of time, so for me, the the fact that I came to England triggered me so much because I couldn't express myself properly. In Bulgaria, I'm a very loud person. I express myself freely. I have all these banter and jokes in me, um, and and I just you know make people laugh and have fun. And and when I came here, I just couldn't couldn't culturally match immediately it was just a cultural shock for me because the way bulgarians communicate and interact with each other is very different the humor is very different the way people relate to one another is different so for me it was really difficult to really adapt myself to um to the whole environment to, to differences between people and it took me a long time actually to to, to to do that and in the meantime obviously there was a lot of unfulfillment going on within me so i started asking all these questions why do i not feel okay why am I hurting from within? Why am I not satisfied when theoretically I've got everything? My rational mind couldn't comprehend what's wrong. And I used to cry every summer when I went back to Bulgaria. I used to cry to my parents that something's not okay, but they didn't know what to do with me because they've given me everything that they have and, 
and it was beautiful but but there I was very unfulfilled yeah so I had a calling then started reading books a lot of articles and that led me on to um more and more uh, questioning and and that led me on to um finding this beautiful academy that completely transformed and changed my life when I moved to London I discovered this academy where I learned uh, techniques um, uh, and practices about intuition and I learned um, so much about the wisdom of, of the superconscious mind and the unconscious belief system. And you just really learn how the human mind works, how the universe operates, how, how, um, what are the laws of nature and then how we can use them to thrive rather than go against them and against ourselves. And it's been a really interesting point of view that has never, and not even point of view, it's more like an orientation in life that has really transformed me the way I see my life the way I see myself the way I am really as a human being now and and because of that um I just I just had uh, this inner um inner calling to share that with people because because of the way it transformed my life and the way I've continued to transform my life and myself um and that um really draws people that really draws people because people want that as well people people do want uh, to know how they can they can change things that are no longer serving them, how they can let go of people, or how they can embrace the new, or how they can create something that love that they feel so scared of. Um, so, um, so for me, that academy, academy changed everything. Uh, and ever since, I've been practicing those those tools and techniques that I've learned, which was you know I learned them about five years ago. I've, I've managed to create a um, beautiful connection with my body, beautiful connection with me as with with me as a woman. Um, beautiful connection with, with my juice as a woman um, and um, just made me really connected to, to who I am and I'm, I'm aware of what I'd love to create. Uh, I'm aware of what uh, relationships I'd love to, love to create, the people that attract are people that really resonate with my heart and with my soul. So, so all of these things um, are, 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 are results of, of my work for the last five years and, and I can see these practices really work and I'm a true believer that when applied, everyone everyone can use them and therefore this is my passion to really share with other people um so that they can they can take their power um they can take responsibility and their power back and and to create whatever what they came here to create and what they love in life perfect it's so beautiful so <clears throat> in the end of the interview we have group work we have individual work we have a webinar uh we have um every month a woman circle so please guys please ladies just put the comment below woman hashtag woman where maria personally will contact you with the link to the webinar on zoom and what i want to say i can't wait for <laughs> for the webinar i'm sure it will be fantastic maria is so nice what you're doing and i'm sure you can help more women. Uh, and yeah, thank you so much. Thank you very much, Stasi. Thank you for inviting me. It's been an absolute pleasure to be here and be part of Coaching Real. Um, many thanks, and I'm sure we'll speak again very soon. Have yeah. a good day. Thank you. Yeah! <laughs> we did it! <laughs> <laughs> yeah.